take advantage of the time you have with the people that you love and care about and, and recognize that you won't always have the op that opportunity or that any, in a blink of an eye it could all be gone. In the blink of an eye, 10 years ago tonight, 88 people were killed when Alaska Airlines Flight 261 plunged into the Pacific Ocean just off the coast of California. Among those killed, Sarah Manning Pearson, Spokane native and 1981 Lewis and Clark High School graduate. On the beach in California where debris once washed ashore, friends and family gathered around a memorial sundial to remember those who were killed. They were also remembered in Seattle Queen Anne's neighborhood where 10 of the 88 victims lived, including Sarah Manning Pearson, her husband, and two young girls. Today, our Sally Showman spoke with Sarah's sister who still lives in Spokane and reminds us to make the most of the time we have. Sarah, her husband Rod, and their two young daughters all died on board Flight 261. They were on their way home from a family vacation to Mexico. Although 10 years have passed, not a day goes by when Sarah's sister Suzanne doesn't think about her. You'd think it would be getting easier, but it's not. 10 years ago tonight, Suzanne Lynch was just learning her younger sister, brother-in-law, and nieces were on board the doomed flight. It is crazy to think about. An entire family wiped out. We talked to Suzanne at her sister's memorial in 2000. My whole family is overwhelmed by the compassion and love that we feel from so many people in the community. Years have passed, but the pain has not. The 10-year anniversary is, I just seems particularly hard. And uh, um, I just want people to remember them, you know, and not forget them. Friends say if you knew Sarah, it would be impossible to forget her. Her constant smile and laughter are the things Suzanne misses the most. She would bright up her room. And people just would want to spend time with her because she was just a very happy, loving, genuine person. The NTSB found the crash was the result of Alaska Airlines' failure to properly lubricate and check a part in the plane's tail. It didn't make me mad. It made me sad that my family got was caught in that. But um, if it it would have been could have been anybody's family. Because of the crash, that part of the plane is now one of the most scrutinized components in aviation. I hope it's met, served to make flying safer. Next to the Pearson family picture that's always up in Suzanne's living room, a scroll with a list of all 88 people that died on Flight 261. Suzanne says she learned how fleeting life can be and hopes others take time to cherish what time they have left with loved ones. You just need to take advantage of the time you have with the people that you love and care about and, and recognize that you won't always have the op that opportunity or that any, in a blink of an eye it could all be gone. Sally Showman, KXLY4 HD News.